Welcome to Macro Peace Theater. I am your narrator, Emil Kalinowski, and I will be telling you a tale that was first woven by Mr. Robert Breedlove. Yes, Robert Breedlove, very well known on Twitter, at Breedlove22. He's got a podcast, What is Money? And a Substack, which is where this article comes from. The article is Freedom, Truth, and Love. It was posted on the 8th of October at breedlove22.substack.com. It's about the nature of money, about the nature of exchange, uh, freedom, liberty. How does it all work together? Pursuing the truth. And where does mod- money's most modern incarnation fit in Bitcoin. We're going to find out. I hope you enjoy. Freedom, truth, and love. Three creative principles distinguished by uninhibited exchange. Is it any coincidence that voluntary exchange is essential to all three? Freedom. A long literature of Austrian economics roots the creative potency of freedom in the epistemic bedrock of rationalism. As sure as no object can be in two places at once, production must precede consumption, and taxation always reduces wealth creation. In this way, pure laissez-faire market economies, forums of absolutely free exchange, totally unhindered by taxation, are the most generative of wealth. Seen through this fractal crystal of freedom, the greater the proportion of uncompelled action in the marketplace, the more degrees of freedom market actors make available through the accumulation of capital. Freedom means not only more stuff, but also new and better kinds of stuff through the market-driven miracles of innovation. The act of pulling abstract yet useful theories down into the world of practice, innovation is the discovery of ways for people to accomplish greater results with less effort. Innovation and trade, two fruits of freedom, are both useful for the same reason. They engender gains in productivity. Contingent on the economics of violence, force can also be used to obtain something for nothing, albeit with deleterious social or perhaps karmic consequences. As morally superior pathways to obtaining something for nothing, free trade and innovation are productivity-enhancing manifestations of the principle of freedom. Entropy is the universal state of nature, a quality expressed as uncertainty and volatility in socioeconomic affairs. In the sense of being an accurate portrayal of reality, then, we can say volatility is truth. For this reason, freedom is an indispensable principle of human competence. An illegible and always fluid future forces actors to maximize their optionality if they wish to successfully adapt themselves to its erratic movements. Mapping and continuously remapping ourselves to this ever-shifting terrain of reality is the truth discovery process facilitated exclusively by free markets. Truth must be discovered through active inquiry. It cannot be dictated. As such, A free mind is always inclusive, in the same way a concluded mind is totalitarian. As ecologies characterized by endless inquiry, will customers buy my goods? Do I have enough working capital? How will the technology landscape shift? Free markets promulgate the pragmatic truths of useful tools, accurate prices, and virtuosity truth. Pragmatically speaking, useful tools are a form of truth. When a map is used to successfully navigate oneself from A to B, was this because the map was useful or because it was true? According to the philosophy of pragmatism, it is difficult to distinguish what is useful from what is true. Ask yourself, what is the truth of digging a hole? 
If the truth is defined as an accurate portrayal of reality and a shovel is indispensable to the reality of cost-effective hole digging, then the shovel is a pragmatic truth in and onto itself. The same is true for other tools designed with other purposes in mind. Each is the pragmatic truth of satisfying a purposeful aim. In accordance with humanity's current treasury of knowledge, any market-proven shovel can be said to be the truth of digging a hole, with the different pragmatic truths of digging available at different price points. Speaking of price, it is another form of pragmatic truth generated by free markets. There is a saying on Wall Street, price is truth. At the intersection of objective supply and subjective demand, we find the transjective phenomenon of price. At each point in time and in different venues across space, goods being exchanged develop a market price that represents a useful, pragmatic appraisal of their relative worth in the eyes of others. In a free market, pricing systems are accurate informational mappings of the constantly shifting value structures of market actors. Prices are synoptic. They let us see human action through the eyes of one another. Accurate prices convey the views of all actors within a trade network. In a massive form of data compression, market prices crystallize collective market actor preferences and knowledge into a singular, dynamic, and actionable metric. Accurate prices impose accountability on market actors, as production decisions which are not profitable communicate that capital is being deployed in a dissatisfactory way. By incentivizing persistent producer accountability to consumer preferences, which leads to the formation of long-term economic relationships, free markets shine by generating their highest form of pragmatic truth, virtue. Scarcely disputed is the simple truth that honesty is a virtue, but it is not always the best strategy. For, as is said, all is fair in love and war. This is why, through intergenerational cycles of free exchange, markets zero in on rule sets which are equitable and invariant, as demonstrated in English common law. The tenets of free market capitalism and, most recently, in the incorruptible money called Bitcoin. Again, at the root of virtue is the practical reality of productivity growth. A lie is quite simply a less efficient means of communication as it requires steadily more layers of deceit to maintain its explanatory power within the freely competing minds of those engaged in truth discovery. Although deception can be expedient over short time horizons, it is inevitably counterproductive in the long to run. The truth, like the sun and the moon, cannot remain long hidden. Other virtues, which typically support interactive competency, are similarly rooted in pragmatism. But this is a long conversation for another day. So, Freedom lets us best deal with the truth of universal entropy by manifesting the pragmatic truths of useful tools, accurate prices, and virtuosity. Each pragmatic truth is a useful, relevant, and real-time map of the fluxing territories humans navigate through action. Freedom, then, is the fertile soil of reality from which utility springs. All action in the universe unfolds freely, and the more closely humans mirror this pattern of nature, the more wealth we create, and the more synchronized with nature and one another we become. Further, both freedom and truth are inseparable from love. Love. Beyond freedom and truth, the free exchange associated with love is most evidently a creative force. After all, love is the force that brought us all into being. 
ancient Greeks decomposed love into three forms, eros, philia, and agape. Free markets maximize wealth, which is to say they enable the highest levels of economic consumption possible, supporting the consumptive love of eros. When you say, I love this fatty ribeye, you are expressing eros. Free markets also depend on peaceful interdependence to function properly, thereby freeing us up to engage in more reciprocal relationships associated with philia. Your feelings towards your lifelong friends, who you hopefully don't want to consume, is an expression of philia. Finally, free markets forge the material abundance and character strengths necessary for child rearing, thereby allowing more of the highest love to enter the world, the divine, unidirectional, and selfless love God has for his children, agape. It is no coincidence that the nuclear family has collapsed as the cornerstone of Western civilization as free market principles have been unraveled from its economic fabric. When the foundation of freedom is compromised, the higher la layers of truth and love falter too. Restricting freedom obscures truth. Those blind to truth cannot competently serve love. Humans are the most creative creatures. Freedom is fundamental to the creative potential of humanity. Freedom of action deepens the human relationship with truth. Resonance with truth opens humans up to the possibilities of a society centered on love. Of everlasting significance, the elevation of human civilization is only possible through reverence for the three creative principles centered on the universal phenomenon of uninhibited voluntary exchange, freedom, truth, and love. Thank you for reading Freedom, Truth, and Love. Fantastic, fantastic philosophy. I really enjoyed that. We've been exploring uh, the nature of money with some of our readings, including, let's see, who did we go through? Uh, Karl Marx, uh, Roger Starr, and here we go, another philosopher, modern 21st century philosopher, Robert Breedlove. You can find his work at Substack, breedlove22substack.com. This particular piece, ladies and gentlemen, is freedom, truth, and love, but there's so much more there. His most recent posting, the philosophy of freedom maximalism. Also, the number zero and Bitcoin. That's a seven part series. Exchange, the very first principle. Fantastic stuff. You can also hear Mr. Breedlove on his podcast, the What Is Money podcast. Just go to What Is Money podcast.com on twitter you will find him at breed love 22 b-r-e-e-d-l-o-v-e -E -E, the number 22 i hope you enjoyed this reading and i will talk at you tomorrow unless you unsubscribe because you found this outro unsatisfactory <laughs>